how do we set up C++ or C in Visual Studio Code? To begin our setup, we'll open our favorite web browser and search for C++ for VS Code. Now we're going to use our first website which is C++ Programming with Visual Studio Code. We click on this link. I'm going to leave a copy of this link down in the description. Now in here, the first thing we have to do is to install the C++ extension. So you open VS Code, hit the extensions icon here, and then in here we're going to type C++. Then we take the first extension which is C, C++. Then again we are going to install the C++. Once you are done with the installation, the next thing to do is to install a C++ compiler. Now to set up your environment for C++, to set up your C++ environment, as I said, you will need the C++ compiler. To do this, we are going to read through this and then we are going to use this link, install MinGW x64 on Windows. So click on this link here. Now with the MSYS2, you are going to now install it. So click this link to do your installation. So you click the link to install the MSY2. Now it's going to start my installation. So you can see over here, since I have already installed it, I'm not going to install it again. So you click on save to install it. Now once you are done with the installation, go to your downloads and then open it. So you can see it says that welcome to the MSY2 setup. So you go to next. Now you can see we have this installation folder here. So you go to next again. And then another next. Then now you're going to do the installation. So I'm going to cancel it. Because I have already done it. Okay. So it's pretty simple. After doing all that, you go to finish. So this is how the, it looks like. So first you have the installation folder. Then next, you can now run it. Now on running it, you're going to have a window like this. So the MS2 SY, MSY2, MSYS2 is going to open this folder, a, a window like this. Then what you're going to do next is copy this code here from down here. I'm going to leave a copy of this code down. Pacman, you copy this code and then you click copy here and then you paste the code inside this window. After you run the MSY2, now you, you paste it over here. Now I'm pasting it and then you click enter. You're going to do all the installations for the compiler. And then when they ask whether you want to proceed with the installation, you click capital Y. All right. Now you can run GCC dash dash version to know what kind of what the type of version you installed now once you are done with this the last thing to do is to add this mingw to your environment variables so we go down again the last thing is to add the path to your mingw w6 bin folder to the windows path environment variables so that's what we are going to do so to do this you are going to go here and type emv So you type EMV and you go to edit system environment variables. You go to environment variables. Now, the user variables, the user variables, you look for path. You can see path over here so you double click it now what you do is that you go to new right new now you come back here and then you copy this over here you copy it Control c you copy it then you go back there at the new here you go back here and then you paste it right? you paste it in there you paste it inside here and then you go to OK and then OK. 
then again ok over here so now let's test to see whether it works so again you open your vs code so after doing all this until you may want to close close the vs code and then reopen it now inside here you create a folder if you have a, a folder already open you can do that you can create a new folder here and then inside the folder you create a file so mine is question question onecpp make sure that the, the file you're going to create ends in .cpp or you can follow the one in the, docu the, the documentation so you have to create a file a c++ file using this stuff here so you can follow this to create a new file and make sure it ends and you can copy this code over here and paste this inside it to run to see make sure it ends in .cpp right after you create the folder and then the file so inside my vs code I'm now going to run it to see. So I created a question one.cpp. You can write maybe hello world.cpp. You can create any file and then you paste the code inside here. So with this code, I'm going to run to see whether it worked. So you come here and then you can see run code. So for the first time, you click on run code. So I'm going to run it. And it comes welcome to the world of C. So that's how you set up C++ or C in Visual Studio Code.